Yeah, so today we're, we're going to do the project in clinic and we're going to focus on your on site for routes, whether it's inside or outside. And then failing the on site, we're going to be talking about red flag. Yeah. You doing your thing? Yeah. You filming? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. <laughs> that was a filming test. Just want to make sure. <laughs> So we're assuming that this is difficult. We're assuming that you're gonna be breathing hard, that you're gonna be thrutching and going for it. You're gonna do awkward stuff. You're gonna fumble your tools. You're gonna to be pumped out of your gourd. You can't think, right? It's like that level yeah. of like, you're like, you can feel like gagong, gagong, gagong. Not like, you know, sweet Patrick Swayze, dirty dancing gagong, right? This is like <laughs> almost panicked, like trying to keep your, your cool kind of level. So today we're going to try to put you in that environment uh, and try to get you to thrive in it. Okay, so that's that's the goal today. Cool. Um, so I'm going to have you guys jump on probably this green route. So the idea here is I want you to practice continuous movement, okay? This is a, you probably read Rock Warrior's Way, it's just a way of just like allowing yourself to move through the sequence when you know that you can. There's no cruxes here, this is all chill material. You guys can laugh at Tom and be like, what a dingus. He doesn't know how to climb. So I'm optimizing this point. I looked ahead in the sequence and knew I was gonna take a reverse grip right away. So I set myself up to start there. And I'm like, okay, if I do a little twist lock, I can reach higher easily, not use my bicep to be able to grab the hold. I know I have to walk my feet, and I can actually pull a little bit with my toes to get my center gravity supported. I already have my tools set up as I planned ahead, and now I know I have to walk my feet to get my center gravity underneath the hold, underneath my tool. And instead of having my butt hang out in the air, I'm gonna optimize by rotating in a little bit. I know I can thumb catch or I can use the same hold with my butt tools in. I'll get low by going into first position. Go directly into my stein. Walk my body down. Get my hips in. Rotate so I can easily take my tool off. How you do this transition is totally up to you. Super funky. Kind of a big reach. I'm gonna go long. Rotate. Walk the feet, get it supported. Now sequence-wise here, I know this next hold I have to pull direction to the right, this one's to the left. So I'm gonna do a quick little twist lock, maintain the tension, pushing and pulling at the same time, pushing the right hand, pulling the left, supporting my center gravity with my bottom foot, pressing through the feet instead of pulling. Got my hold, just walk my feet over nice and easy, support my center gravity. There we are, full send. So I'm really thinking about that. I'm trying to optimize the whole way through the climb. Uh -huh. Turn on the analytical brain. Let's give it a go. They're relying on your, your aim. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're thinking about economizing. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier too, because you're, yeah. you're spending less energy uh, net. Do you have anything to come up with? I almost feel like I over, overdid it. Yeah. I Is that I crazy? Was I was thinking yeah. about stuff too much. Yeah. I and found that like not the best I've ever done for sure. Yeah, yeah. And I I feel like my brain gets in the way of my climbing a lot. And I found my best efforts, I didn't even think about what I was doing. I just showed up and blowed up. You know, I just went for it. And that's how you gotta do it. If you wanna hit that flow state of performance, you can't let your analytical brain be present because it blocks all of the, the tacit knowledge you have. All the skill you developed for the past five years climbing out here, right? So the next go will just be letting go of everything and just having fun with it. So um, I'm gonna climb the same route and I'm just gonna dork around and I gotta release all that. All right, now I'm not thinking about anything, all right? We're just chilling in the gym, having a good time, maybe having a, a few beers, you know? Like, you know, I already had a couple beers and I'm just chilling. And you can see like I've already started climbing this totally differently. Right? Like I matched on that hold because I wasn't thinking about optimizing. I was just like, I'm just going to climb. In my subconscious, I was like, dude, it'd be way easier if you just did that thing. You, know? you just come up with these little things that you already know how to do. And you just see. 
because it didn't make sense to take the hold. It just felt better just to move, right? And like, maybe it's not the most efficient all the time, but like, you know how to do it, let your body take over, right? So just go climb. Go climb, let's see it. Go on. Same thing we already applied. I wanna talk about one more thing, the psychological element. Yeah, Fuck. You're dead, or are you? Dead. Yeah. Dead. Nice.